Hey everyone, it's Matthew here at Earthworks Gardens. I want to talk a little bit about some of the heat loving, sun loving plants that we carry throughout the summer here at the garden center. Sometimes planting in the middle of summer can be challenging to get plants established, but I wanted to talk about a category of plants that are very easy, carefree, and literally once you plant them, you can walk away and never do anything again to them. And that is a small category of plants, cacti, succulents, primarily. Uh, I have some flapjack colancho here, uh, really interesting texture um, and color, that kind of limey blue green with some uh, rose uh, tips on them. They will actually get several feet tall in flowers, so they add a lot of architectural interest to a cacti succulent garden or you can mix them with other perennials, flowers, shrubs, and they make a really nice accent. I have really, really rugged crown of thorns shrubs right here. These guys are going off with, um, with color. They can bloom nonstop year round. There's very few plants that I can say that about, but the crown of thorns get them in plenty of sun and they will bloom and bloom and bloom. Right behind it, I have a yucca. Uh, this is a yucca cane, got lots of new growth on top. Now these guys can take full sun and all the way down to some pretty dim conditions and people can use them as house plants as well. So they're very versatile and uh, very rugged. But again, watering needs are very low on this plant as well. We have the ponytail palm, which is not actually a palm. Um, it's more uh, like a cacti or succulent. Again, you plant this thing in the ground or in a container and you never have to think about it again. Just watch it grow. Uh, down the road from me on Penman Boulevard, there is a ponytail palm blooming right now here in Jacksonville. I've uh, been driving by this ponytail, it's probably about eight or 10 feet tall. And right now it's got a big uh, inflorescence full of flowers, really cool. So if you live here in Jacksonville, it's on Penman, not too far from Atlantic. So uh, go check that plant. It's a really nice specimen. We also have the Sirius cacti here. I have a couple of these left. These things are showstoppers. When they bloom, they put out a giant flower. Um, they generally open at night. Uh, really, really cool. Brings a lot of interest to the garden and very easy to grow. Um, right here I have a hedgehog aloe. Aloes are a large family of plants. There are many varieties. This is the hedgehog. So this uh, just finished blooming. They do put up a flower spike here and it's covered with coral colored tubular flowers that attract pollinators, hummingbirds, and even small birds will actually perch on these stems and drink the nectar right out of the stems. They'll do that with the soap aloe and the aloe vera as well, which we both, uh, we have all of those in stock. I also want to talk about desert rose. I have a special place uh, in my heart for desert rose. I have one that's been in my collection for almost 20 years. It is a monster. Uh, these guys look like babies compared to the one I have at home, but they will grow somewhat slowly but if you protect them from frost in the winter time you don't have to do anything to them if they're outside in the sun we get more rain than they even need and sometimes i'll actually bring them up and cut, get them under cover so they don't get all the afternoon thunderstorms in the summertime but as long as you get them plenty of sunshine i mix gravel sometimes sand um, grit uh, different types of grit uh, perlite uh, into the mix when i repot them that way they drain very quickly very freely um, but plenty of sun and these things will grow and bloom all throughout the warm season off and on. If you're fortunate enough to get one to be pollinated, um, you'll actually get seed pods. Uh, our cameraman here uh, brought me some seed pods a couple years ago. We made some videos. I still have some of those seedlings growing at my house right now from the desert rose seeds that we had. Um, but really easy to grow. Right next to them, the medicinal aloe vera. These are really nice in a one gallon. I mean, this is a one gallon aloe vera. These things are monsters. Um, $12.99, you can't beat that price either. These things are beautiful. We got plenty of those in stock right now. We have some of the, uh, I showed you the dwarf crown of thorns earlier. This is the regular crown of thorns right now, uh, putting out some beautiful color. Again, these plants, if you put them in a container, uh, they make great, uh, great container plants. And the nice thing about putting them in containers is then if we do have cold frosty nights, it's easy just to bring them right indoors. I don't generally recommend putting them in the ground, although you can if you have a cactus garden or a succulent garden, they look great in the garden, but just be prepared to protect them from the hard frost. I also have three gallon agave geminiflora. Now the agave geminiflora looks completely different than most of the other agaves that people are used to seeing, the giant blues or the yellow and green stripes. Now, agave is a, is a really big family of plants. and There's a lot of different phenotypes, a, different, a lot of different uh, looks that you can get from them. This is a, a nice thin kind of like spaghetti uh, strap leaf here on the Geminiflora. 
Um, slow, moderate growth, but um, very easy. Again, set them in the ground and walk away. Talked about the hedgehog earlier. We also have the fire sticks uh, pencil cacti here. These things are great. I have one at home that's about eight feet, nine feet tall. Super, super cool texture. It's just different. It's different than anything else that you'll have in the garden. But again, you put this in the container. Um, it's a really nice focal point or in the ground. Um, they can take some pretty cold temperatures. It would take a pretty, pretty hard cold, pretty uh, hard freeze for them to take a lot of damage. Uh, but I would still cover them just to protect the tips um, when we have frosty nights. Uh, but really easy to grow. We got yucca stumps here. I showed you the yucca cane. These are stumps that were cut back and now they're growing back. Uh, these were a really nice focal point. They're slowed uh, moderate growth rate. Um, full sun and even into partial and some lower light conditions. The, uh, the yuccas are very, very versatile. And they look great in containers. Actually, we have a job that we're doing where we're putting one in the middle of a container uh, and then we're gonna be planting some flowers around it. So it's, it's a, a very versatile plant in the garden. We also have the Apuntia. These things are great. They also make flowers and edible fruit really easy to grow we do have different apuntias that are native here to florida that grow uh that grow wild there's a few different species um, this one here is one of the larger paddled uh, apuntias and they really uh, make a nice focal point they can stand alone or mix them with uh, other types of cacti and succulents in the garden <laughs>